I have a few questions for you guys. Are you hand cannon type of people? Are you a hand cannon type of person but you just can't seem to get the play required to use one Dan as you always come up short? Well today people if you answer either one of those questions with a yes or are just curious about this hand cannon you don't see no one using so it can't be that good. Well this video is definitely for you. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so do you guys want a super powerful hand cannon? You captured zone B. 10 seconds. Double down. One that's great for picking off enemies. One for destroying people in their super. Five minutes remaining. Two for one. What can stop you if you fight? Together. Great for finishing off enemies. A hand cannon which is super underrated. Double down. Zone A lost by one minutes. which is a great pairing for a sniper. Well, people, I think I might have that very hand cannon for you. Now, hear me out. I ain't the biggest hand cannon fan. The trust I like, the lunas I guess everybody likes, but everything in between, i.e., the or stringer, the better devils, the spare rations, and so many others, no matter the role, they are all hit and miss for me. The problem for many of these quicker firing hand cannons is I'm useless at picking shots and hitting the target when spamming the firing button. Three out of about seven of my shots always hit the body or miss. I haven't quite got it down yet to hit every shot perfect, not winning close range on a one on one battle anyway. And this is the reason I do prefer 110 RPM hand cannons. Yes, they shoot much slower, but because of the slow rate of fire, for me it's much easier to hit every shot as intended. Now there is a place for 110 RPM hand cannons, stop listening to people that say there isn't, that's utter BS. These kind of hand cannons make the perfect pairing for people who like to focus their game on running things such as a sniper, a fusion or even a shotgun. They are great for switching to and finishing off enemies at half health. That's one major benefit for them, but at a certain range, these can't be touched. They outrange many other hand cannons and because the damage fall off seems to stretch a little longer than usual, they are great for taking on people at medium ranges using auto rifles, scouts and pulses. Now there are plenty of 110 RPM hand cannons in the game. I see many people using the Duke of here, which is probably the most popular. There are others like the Warden's Low, which hits pretty hard. The Crimson's Dagger, which I believe has the best range for any hand cannon. There's a Ribena, here I know he's like with that. That's an inside joke. But then there's the thin line. The hand cannon, no matter what I'm playing with, no matter what I'm trying out, whether that be the Truth, the Lunas, the Old Stringer, I always find myself going back to this. So how is it obtained? Well actually it's pretty easy to farm and you can do this for a few different Lost Sector bosses. But for me the quickest and easiest is the Widow's Wart Lost Sector on the EDZ. Run it, kill the boss, run out, rinse and repeat. Easy. Drop rate for me is between every four to six kills of the last sector boss. I seem to have one drop, which isn't too bad. So it shouldn't take you that long in getting one. Now rolls on this thing, well, absolute perfect for me is the one I have. Main perk wise, which is moving target and outlaw. I also have a range as the master work. The sights could be a bit better, but hey ho, 
Quick draw rampage would be great too, but you can see what's available for this weapon on screen now. For me, sites you want range, also range master work too. Reload perks are important as its reload isn't that quick. But rampage moving target are a great pairing with a slide shot rampage also, outlaw moving target, quick draw rampage, these would all be great in my opinion. So get farming people if this is of any interest to you. If you are a fan of 110 RPM hand cannons, give this a try, I 100% guarantee you will love it. It just feels so much crisper than the Wardens, the Duke, the Criminals and so forth. So enjoy it if you do land one people. Now I won't say this is the best hand cannon in the game, it's far from it. The Not Forgotten is by far the best in the game. Then we have the Lunars, then we have certain rolled or Stringers. But I am finding myself on many occasions coming up against people using these in PvP and over a certain range, they can't touch this thing. And like I said earlier, because of the slow rate of fire, it makes it easier in picking and hitting that head. But on that note, we have come to the end. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.